And finally, our last segment demonstrates how technology can be used for surveying the environment. It involves an autonomous underwater vehicle, which is a result of years of research and development at the world-renowned Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, an academic development environment associated with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Named REMUS, which stands for Remote Environmental Monitoring Units, this autonomous underwater vehicle's capabilities make it ideally suited for scientific, commercial, or military operations. The vehicle is small enough to be carried by one man, yet contains enough sophisticated sensor, navigation, and power resources to enable it to perform intricate sonar and oceanographic surveys over large areas. REMIS systems in the field are in 20 different configurations, independently operated by nine universities, three U.S. Navy laboratories, one British Defense Laboratory, and three branches of the U.S. Navy. The U.S. Navy has embraced REMIS as an effective technology to use for mine hunting in shallow water. This has proven to be the largest group of users to date. There are, however, numerous other applications. Additionally, REMIS is ideally suited for various search missions and coastal hydrographic surveys, and requires very little infrastructure to support and operate. The REMIS system can travel over 100 kilometers in 20 hours, at a velocity of 1.5 meters per second, and at depths as great as 100 meters. The REMIS vehicle is designed to be small, lightweight, low-cost, easy to use, and highly accurate in terms of navigational performance and sensor data. It has been optimized for large area, shallow water surveys. The vehicle is monitored and programmed using software that runs on a laptop computer. A simple scripting language is used to program the vehicle for a desired mission. The same program may be used to simulate the mission profile before deployment. After the mission is completed, data is uploaded from the vehicle to this program for analysis and display. Remus's main components include Compact Side Scan Sonar Lightweight Navigation Transponders Acoustic Doppler Current Profiler Conductivity and Temperature Sensor a ruggedized laptop computer. A Remus Ranger transponder. A portable acoustic transducer and cable. Operating speed from 3 to 5 knots. And a 100 meter depth rating. The system's onboard computer automatically determines the optimal navigation mode to navigate the vehicle throughout its mission. One of the core mission requirements for REMIS is to support a range of naval operations, primarily mine countermeasures, to assist naval mine hunting forces tasked with clearing ports to enable the delivery of humanitarian supplies. REMIS is also being used in the U.S. for academic research, Stanford University, California Polytechnic State University, the University of Rhode Island, and the University of Massachusetts, among others, are successfully using REMIS to support their research objectives. For example, 
the Biological Sciences Department of the California Polytechnic State University uses the navigational capabilities of Remus when conducting missions that involve transects across the entire width of Monterey Bay in California. These transects are often as much as 20 miles in length, representing a round-trip mission of approximately 40 miles. Remus comprises a variety of functions, such as the following. Acoustic Baseline LBL and USBL Navigation and DVL Assisted Dead Reckoning. Precise Track Line Navigation. Side scan sonar. Precise target coordinates. Acoustic Doppler Current Profiling, or ADCP. Conductivity and Temperature. Bathymetry, or Measuring Water Depth. Navigation Data. Mission Progress. System Status. Shallow Water Detection and Avoidance at 3 meters. Terrain following in altitude mode. In addition, Remus is an ideal tool for the following. Debris field mapping. Harbor security. Hydrographic surveys. Acoustic Doppler current profiling surveys. Fishery operations. Mine countermeasure operations. Environmental monitoring search and salvage operations, and scientific sampling and mapping. Although this technology addresses security concerns, contributes to making fishing operations more cost-effective, and provides better methods for search and salvage efforts, Perhaps one of its most important applications involves major engineering and scientific projects, projects that could expose more of our ocean's potentiality, which in turn could help effect major advances in a number of industries. And that concludes our show. I hope it helped acquaint you with some of our latest technological developments here on Cape Cod. I'm John Wilson. <laughs>